hello, so I'm Wendy Harwood. Um, so I'm a senior scientist at the John Innes Centre in Norwich in the UK. And so I'm very pleased to be here for this meeting today. So I've just given a presentation where um, I've looked particularly at the at GM technology and how it's moved forward um, so that we've now got gene editing and just looking at the opportunities of gene editing and what it might be able to do for our agricultural crops. I guess to give a little bit more detail, what my what my group does, we focus we focus for many years on um, ge genetic modification of crop plants, and um, so we work particularly in the cereals, but also in other crops as well. And um, you know, we just over the last couple of years, we've had this really exciting new technology of gene editing. So we provide we provided um, genetic modification to many collaborative projects, but now we've got this new tool that we can offer as well. And so we have a lot of in, a huge amount of excitement at the moment over the way that we can use gene editing techniques, um, both as a research tool to help us understand the function of genes, but also, more importantly, um, going forward to try to produce improved agricultural crops. So I think that it will have a massive influence in agriculture. So of course it's just one technology. Um, we need all the technologies we can get our hands on at the moment with the problems that we have in producing sufficient food and worrying about the environment and all these things. Um, but the gene editing is, there are so many applications, so many ways that it can be used, um, that it, it just gives us a lot more flexibility and a lot more precision than we've ever had before. So we've never been able to, for example, go and make a precise change in a precise gene before. Now we have the tools to do that, so that's incredibly exciting. And it will allow us to tackle all sorts of things, from nutritional quality, um, drought tolerance is a really important one, um, disease resistance. Again, it gives us many options to tackle disease resistance that we didn't have before. And just giving the breeders more tools. I mean, I've been able to talk already, talk, in the short time I've been here, talk to quite a lot of the students with yesterday and today. And, um, and yeah, there were quite a lot of questions after the talk. And I think this, the students I've spoken to are really, yeah, they're certainly really interested and, and I think really concerned about the, um, yeah, the, the, way thing, the way the regulation is going and whether we're actually going to be able to make the best use of these tools or whether you know, the regulation is going to put barriers in our way and we're not going to be able to move forward as fast as we would like to. Um, but obviously they're also very concerned about the environment and, you know, and environmental impacts. So I think, yeah, I think they're, you know, they're looking at the bigger picture and weighing everything up. So yeah, I had some really, really good conversations with them.